Leon Ford and Mike Kreitz both owned adjacent properties along Turk Road in a rural area northwest of Helena. On Monday, jurors heard from two other residents of the area about what led up to and what immediately followed Kreitz's disappearance. Mark and Gloria Flora were Kreitz's neighbors and friendly with him. Mark Flora reported him missing to law enforcement in June 2011 after finding his dogs running loose, calling him multiple times with no answer, and checking his house to find him gone. The storm door was closed, but the main door was wide open, and that was very unusual. And I was hollering for Mike. I, t I looked in the house. I went in. And it was, I had a bad feeling, so I went in, I didn't touch anything, and I walked around just to make sure he wasn't lying there. Many of the property owners on Turk Road were involved in disputes over road access, some of them leading to lawsuits. Prosecutors say one of those disagreements was between Kreitz and Ford. Gloria Flores said in light of that tension and the scene at his property, they assumed Kreitz had been killed even before his remains were discovered months later. None of those exhibit or reflect any kind of behavior or action that Mike would have taken if he were alive. The florists said they placed game cameras on the road because of their own disputes with other neighbors. Prosecutors used images from those cameras to allege that Ford's truck went up Turk Road about the time Kreitz made his last known phone call. Also on Monday, jurors heard from the man who received that call. He was just like concerned that somebody was coming. He goes, yep, somebody's coming. Somebody's here. I gotta go now, Jesse. Jesse Thomas said Kreitz had asked him to write down a name, but he didn't do it, saying Kreitz was known to exaggerate. He said he couldn't remember the name Kreitz had given him, and he regretted not writing it down after learning what happened. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.